Students, I would like to show you how to size a photograph. And if you have a photograph that's sitting on your desktop that you would like to put into a document in InDesign, then uh, this is how I would go about uh, placing it in the program. If you open up your document here, and I just have an eight and a half by 11 document, you wanna go over here to uh, the rectangle frame tool and click on that and uh, pull out a rectangle like this. And you can go up to here to file and hit place, but you can also hit command D. So I'm just gonna go command D and I'm going to get uh, this box here for, for my desktop. And I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna pick this picture here. This is my uh, great uncle Bob standing next to his Piper airplane and I'm going to hit open and there it is but it's not cropped properly and uh, with this uh, uh, box to uh, hold imagery uh, there are two different ways to uh, manipulate the box if you're in the direct selection tool which is the black arrow right up here then it uh, just moves the whole uh, content around. But there's a lot of, of this image that you do not see. And so um, we need to be able to um, size this. And the best way to do that is uh, click off of this, go to your direct selection tool here, and then click on. And then you're gonna get this brown bounding box that's here. That's the actual image sticking beyond this original uh, box that I created. And so what you wanna do is you can go here to one of the sides, and if you hold the shift key while you move this in, it'll reduce the picture and show the whole thing. And I can move this around. As you can see, the blue bounding box always sits there when you're in the direct selection tool like this. And now what you can do is you can click off of this, go back to your selection tool, and you can uh, create uh, the proportions that you want of this for this photograph, like this. And so that looks pretty good. And I'm just gonna set this off to the side there. And I'm gonna hit the option key. And you see I have the double arrow there. And I'm just gonna pull this off to the side here. And say I wanted to have a close-up of his face, but I wanted to see this wide shot that included his airplane. So I have these two images here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the Direct Selection tool, click on it, and I'm going to hit the Shift key, because if you don't, it, will, uh, it won't constrain it. And here, I'll just show you what happens. It just turns it skinny. So what you want to do is Command-Z, and then hit the shift key and just widen this out a bit like this. And there he is, much bigger. Now I'm gonna click off, go to my selection tool, click on, and you can manipulate the box. And now you have really two images of Uncle Bob, uh, one is a more of a portrait and the other one is more of a full size uh, with his airplane. So remember, uh, selection tool moves the whole image around like this. Click off, direct selection tool, click on, and you'll get the brown box and you can manipulate uh, the image beyond the window. And so that's it on that little tutorial. If you have questions, please email me. Love to hear from you. Bye-bye.